Uh, this airplane, believe it or not, this airplane can actually fly as slow as the Cessna, but it also can fly two times the speed of sound. Um, and it does that pretty easily, believe it or not. Um, also, this airplane, um, 60 degrees of bank starts to get really extreme, a little bit uncomfortable. This airplane, fully aerobatic, doesn't care, pulls nine Gs. You guys know what Gs are? The accelerations of gravity. So everything, you know, my human head, well, MIT, MIT heads weigh about 20 pounds or so, a little bit more than the, than, than the norm. So at nine Gs, everything on your body weighs nine times as much. So that's 180 pounds with your neck has to be able to support that. Imagine everything on this airplane has to be stressed such that it can tolerate that load and more. Also can go negative G as well. Uh, altitude wise, I think the highest I've ever had a Cessna was about 14,000 feet and it was wheezing. I mean, it was really, really hard for it to get up there. Uh, this airplane goes zero feet all the way up to about 60 to 65,000 feet. So it flies twice as high of uh, what you would see on your commercial airliners. What I'm trying to impress on you is it's a huge flight envelope with a very different solution set um, compared to what you might have on a Cessna.